on the newest episode of a nerdy geek and guy we're going to talk about Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yet another franchise that has yet another entry coming out. Oh boy. But I think it looks pretty good. And they, I'm glad they cuz they they took the same concept and they are probably going to allude to the old one, but it's like new. It's all like right. new characters and they're all good comedians that are actually funny actors like. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. So here's the thing. Uh, you think it looks good because it's got good actresses in it. Yeah. And it's gonna. It looks funny. Like Ghostbusters is a comedy. It's not. It's a, was it really though? I mean, it was yeah, definitely. Yeah, funny. yeah. I mean, I, it was funny, I mean, and it was definitely written like a comedy. But it wasn't just a comedy. It wasn't nonstop jokes. In fact, a great deal of it was plot set up uh, uh, some limited science fiction there was even a there was even a significant degree of tension because it was, sure was in it the was first movie comedies back then were different than comedies now yeah. and that's a good point if comedies are different now yeah. if, if the structure of comedies is different what is going to make the new Ghostbusters like the old Ghostbusters if we've changed it to be a completely different format they just need to get J.J. Abrams to make yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I don't know. Uh, uh, I think I'm all Andy. fuck you, J.J. Abrams out. Okay, no more J.J. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think um, well, good? yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for, you know, kind of the same reason as you, just the the uh, the creative team involved. It's, it's again, Paul Feig and Melissa McCarthy. They they um, yeah. they did uh, Bridesmaids, which was funny. The Heat was, uh, the Heat's probably the, the weakest. Um, Spy was good. Spy was really good, yes. Yeah. Um, which one was Spy? That's, that's the one where Oh, I, right, yeah, I remember that one now. I am yeah, worried, though, because Melissa McCartney is kind of tiring out that role of like the meek woman who just like gets crazy and starts cursing a lot like that I sort know, of thing she's, I was about to say she's, never, she's meek. never meek you know oh on yeah. Spy in the beginning she's mm, meek and she, I, like, I, I guess so that, you know but yeah. oh in the heat you're right she's yeah. immediately and then, and, yeah and then in, in, in Bridesmaids she's, uh, she's never and the one that she's in right now oh the, 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 the boss, boss the yeah. boss right the so yeah. is she the same in Ghostbusters I don't remember uh, I think she yeah I think she's basically playing the Bill Murray Role in, in really? The, yeah. Or, you know, I mean, the if if uh, I mean, they're, they're not playing like the same, like the same characters. But it, roles, yeah, yeah. Same, but yeah, but yeah, just uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's three. It's three female scientists, and then you got Leslie Jones as the, uh, uh, you know, who, who joins them, um, uh, like halfway she's through. She's a hairdresser or something, isn't she? No, she's a she's a subway. She's like a subway worker. What? Uh, oh, I must yeah, have misread like the the location. Yeah, like, like a subway ticket. Um, yeah, I know. What you're yeah. Talking about, yeah. All right. So. Number one, uh, uh, Ghostbusters is always uh, already for me walking in on the tail end of at least a half a dozen terrible franchise remakes and and continuations that I'm just disgusted by. You know, Star Trek, Star Wars, Transformers, DC. Like I I can't. I'm so tired of people continuing franchises well past their 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 expiration date. I mean, Ghostbusters two was stretching where you could go with Ghostbusters. And now we're coming back to it. And I see... I've only seen the one trailer. Uh, Me too. And with one exception, with one exception, uh, none of it seemed anything like Ghostbusters. It seemed like a random comedy with some CG ghosts and uh, uh, props stolen from the Ghostbusters set. You might be right. That's Uh, that's the exception. But the, the one exception was... And the funny thing was is I hadn't quite thought of this being important until I saw the trailer. And I'm going, hey, I hope there's more of that in that. Than just the trailer shows me, and again, it's it's the woman you mentioned from the uh, from the ticket booth, the subway yeah. ticket booth. What's her name? Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones. Uh, you got Leslie Jones. I, I think it's her talking about uh, like you girls don't understand. This is New York. Yeah. You got to do things the New York mm-hmm. way. I hadn't realized up until she said that. And I looked back on the other because I found it odd that that would be a thing, and I, I I thought back to the previous Ghostbusters movies, and I sort of realized. Yeah, them being in New York and it being in New York was kind of a thing for Ghostbusters. It was never like a plot point. It was never like like substantial to the activity that was happening. But the activity taking place in New York created a flavor for the movie. Much like uh, the one thing I think that uh, uh, Nolan did right with Batman uh, movies was creating a, a very present sense of Gotham as its own unique... Uh, character and and presence in those movies. I won't I won't go over why I think he screwed up in so many other ways, but uh, I think New York is an important part of what makes Ghostbusters Ghostbusters and not random comedy chicks fighting ghosts. 
Because random comedy chicks fighting ghosts is not inherently Ghostbusters. Just because it has ghosts and proton packs doesn't make it Ghostbusters. Mm. The props aren't what make it uh, a movie that people got up out of their, their seats and, and paid 20 bucks to go see in theaters. What was it, four or five years ago when they released the 25th anniversary? I didn't know that happened. <clears throat> you, oh yeah, they re-released in theaters Ghostbusters, and I went back with a bunch of my friends, and it was a it wasn't completely full, but it was a full theater, what? and we were all sitting there watching was, Ghostbusters wasn't again. That, wasn't that like two years ago? Was it two years ago? Two years, wow, yeah. Yeah. Was, was it really two years? Yeah, ago? Well, 19, well, yeah, 1984 was when the first time I saw it. Wouldn't the uh, wow. like fifth anniversary have been like two years ago? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, the time is passing a lot quicker mm-hmm. than I thought, but still, there were people like showing up to watch Ghostbusters again because we loved that movie mm-hmm. and. I'm telling you, there were people all throughout the theater, like, you know, they were repeating their favorite lines, you know, before the lines were coming up, because we knew what was coming. (laughs) That is, that's not just nostalgia. It's people who love that movie because the movie was good, and because the movie was unique, it was special, it had something that set it apart from other movies. If we're going to do another Ghostbusters entry, again, I'm harping kind of on the same point that I've been harping on all day long, but it's true, because they keep doing it. I want to see something that makes Ghostbusters Ghostbusters and not random comedy with ghosts and proton packs. Hmm. Only time and, will tell. And I'm hoping that, that that reference to New York is played out significantly. It might be. We'll see. All right. Anything else to say about Ghostbusters? I want to talk about Batman. Ooh, let's, let's talk about the real right Ghostbusters. Now. now that was a good show. Did you, uh, did you know that um, Lorenzo Music, the voice of Garfield... Was um was the voice the cartoon of, Garfield? Yeah, the yeah. cartoon Garfield was the um uh the voice of the Bill Murray character in, oh. in the cartoon. And then yeah, and then that. um yeah. and then uh Bill Murray was the voice of Garfield <laughs> in the Garfield movie. That's right. <laughs> their, like, their their careers you crossed over a little crossed bit. Over. You're really good at that. <laughs> yeah, Danny is our uh, uh, is our trivia guy. If you have questions about movie or or especially Simpsons yeah, trivia. Yeah. Danny is the uh, the guy to uh, uh, ask. And his phone number is. <laughs> no, no, just just pop up a comment in the in, in the YouTube page. We have a, a YouTube comment page of some kind, right? Yeah, yeah. we do. And subscribe. That's what you're supposed to say in every YouTube show. Oh, uh, and subscribe. How how much does it cost? <laughs> for... All right, I think that's it for Ghostbusters. We'll see what happens. What? All that's, right. That's... Bye.